So this week on Instagram, I was teaching and I was or I was talking or was posting about self-acceptance and self-awareness. I actually wanted to do a YouTube video yesterday, but I just didn't have anything to say and I didn't know what to talk about. And so I was doing Instagram, then I realized that I don't know if I should be putting, putting all my focus on my Instagram page or so I started praying and I was asking God if he could lead me because I don't want to outstep or go out of bounds I just want for him to lead me because I had asked him to align my life into my purpose and into the path that he wants me to go and so I started looking at other coaches and see what they're doing and started to mimic what they're doing. But then I'm like, no, you have to be unique. God did not call you to follow. He calls you to lead. And so I started praying and then I'm like, you know what? I'm going back to what I started off with. I was talking to God and then he said, tell them about what you've been learning all this week. But because I was so busy on Instagram, it was to me, it's, a form of noise when you're too busy and you have no time to listen to what God has to say to you it's become noisy that's what we call noisy so sometimes it's good for you to take a step back and then realign yourself or go back in bound God spoke to me and he said you know this week I cut my hair as you guys have seen I cut my hair off and there was a reason why I did it. And I actually cut it off because I was washing my hair and it started at the end where the process part is, the damage part is, which I didn't want it to let go off because I want to be able to catch my hair up in one. And that part was getting naughty and it was hard to detangle. And I found the newer growth area was easy to comb through than the process part that I have the old part of my hair so I decided you know what I'm just gonna get rid of it I'm just gonna cut it and then start off new and that was really why I cut my hair and so as I was praying the Lord said to me talk about the reason behind it and think about it in a biblical way or a way that it teaches you about your own self-acceptance God is good and then I was I started to search myself and then I thought you know what new growth and I'm hanging on to the old part because I don't want to look bald. I don't want to look a certain way. I don't want to, I want to seem a certain way. I want to pretend to be a certain thing because of the length of my hair. But if I get rid of the old part, if I get rid of my old habits, if I forget about my past, I'm talking to you now. If I forget about my past and start it all, start off all new, you know, just walk towards your future. Forget about your past and start all new. Reinvent yourself. That's what God laid on my heart to speak to you, to you guys today. So I cut off the hair, the old part, and I throw it out. I let it go so if you want to just let go of your past put it behind you bury it chopped it off get rid of it and start off all brand new and see now my new growth is so healthy that part of my hair was destroyed it was there was a lot of stuff that was going on with it but i hang on to it for such a long time because i didn't want to look different now i get so many compliments on how i look right now i never see myself being this this is the second time i've cut my hair off and i didn't imagine myself looking into the mirror and loving what i see but i am in love with me right now if i get rid of the things of my past the things that are destroying me and focus on the new and what you can see right now. Focus on your future, forget about the past. Start a new, start a business, start a side hustle, start a new job, just focus on being new. Forget about the past, focus on yourself. So that's my self cultivation, my self acceptance, my self compassion. You have to be compassionate about yourself, love yourself. If you don't love you, 
no one else will love you. You have to love yourself first. And when people see that you love yourself, you take care of yourself, you are healthy in mind, body, and soul, you speak positive things about yourself, then it will draw positive people towards you. It will draw the right person in your life. The Bible said in Psalms 139:14 that we are wonderfully and fearfully made by God. We are wonderfully and fearfully made by Him. And we're unique in our own ways. Stop looking at what you think is good for you or good for other people. A lot of us will go on Instagram and we'll see people like say, for example, Kim Kardashian, the Kardashian families. And you know, we think that they're the most prettiest person. They're the most wealthy person. They have the best body and we idolize them wanting to look like them we paid and waste money just to look like them it's time for us to stop doing so yes and you know what i wear my wigs and you know i do but i have my time when i just rip all of that off and just show myself it's accept yourself for who you are and who god make you to be you have to be you are no in you're not in you're not in competition with anyone else but yourself when god comes you and you alone have to give your own account for their own soul i cannot give accounts for my children i cannot give any accounts for my parents every man has to give their own accounts in saying that, I am not here to judge anyone, but we need to take control of ourselves. We cannot continue to please people. You have to please yourself. What's the point of living life or living your life when you're pleasing someone else who at the end of the day don't even care? They're not even appreciative. When we can live the life that God created us to live, where he is the one that will appreciate us give us our crown because we did the work that we were called to do on her check yourself hope you guys have a great day a great week a great month and i hope you guys learned something today share my video give me some thumb up comment down below what you will be changing for this year in your life and how you're going to accept yourself more and love yourself more Hope to see you in my next video.